Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight what we got, um, got another one of these uh, Roach Coach uh, break uh, shorts. And uh, several viewers have asked about the combination tool bit uh, that I showed in another video, uh, which was Special and Inserted Lathe Tools, I think is the title, um, where there's a little more detail. But uh, some people have been asking about how that geometry was ground at specific angles and things like that. Um, it's relatively straightforward, so we're going to get some close-ups here and measure some angles and look at some uh, reliefs and things like that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, give, the, give the tool a little test drive in the lathe uh, so people can um, see how it operates in the lathe. So let me switch the camera around. And uh, I got them ready to go over here, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at them, and then we'll go over to the lathe and uh, and see what happens. Okay, so these are the uh, uh, these are these combo tool bits here that I showed before, and um, um, so what these do is uh, uh, in the lathe we can uh, let's see if I can turn around here. So what we can do with these that's uh, interesting is with one tool we can um, we can face um, up to that radius right there from that that corner right there up to there. So we can face a, a radius up to that big. Okay. Um, the other thing we can do with it is with the point we can turn, and, and this has a 45 degree lead angle. We can turn with that. And then we can come up and we can break that edge with that, and then we can reach on the inside and break that edge. So, uh, turning a piece, uh, facing it, and chamfering a couple of edges is pretty common stuff on the lathe. So, um, um, this saves several tool changes and uh, having to back the carriage up and and pull the t um, <clears throat> the tool holder out, put a different tool holder in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you can't turn to a square shoulder, obviously, um, with these. But uh, just, just so a common operation here might be uh, face, um, face, cha uh, turn, chamfer, chamfer, part it off, and then start again and, and keep going. So that's a fairly common thing when making tubes. Now, um, or even round stuff it doesn't have to be a tube. Um, so there's another one, and uh, these are basically the same here. And then here's one that's that just has the same thing, um, 45 here, but it has a different front angle here. So instead of producing a 45 degree chamfer, this produces a, a 15 degree uh, edge. Uh, might be a lead in for uh, an O ring or something like that. I don't remember what uh, this one got ground for. But it's a good example of a more extreme relief underneath. And I'll zoom in on that and you guys can get a better look at that. Okay, so uh, just to get the angle thing out of the way here, these are, this is 90 degrees, so each side of that's 45 degrees, so that's 90, and it's straight with the tool bit, okay, and then that edge is also 90 on this particular one. This one's the same here, and then this one has a 45 and a 15 degree in relation to the... Uh, uh, the side of the tool there. Okay, let's see if I can hold that up so you can see it like that. Okay, uh, and once again, that just produces a, a different angle chamfer on the front edge there. Okay, so let me zoom in and you can look at the reliefs and then we'll go over to the lathe and uh, we'll, we'll turn and burn over there. Okay, so we got a much tighter shot here now, so I don't have a big field of view to work with here. Um, so there's our tools from the top again. Okay and uh, 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees and then uh, let's look underneath here and you can kind of see these uh, uh, the reliefs and how they 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 vary a little bit so let me double check the shot and make sure you got I didn't jump out of the uh, out of the frame there go that way a little bit okay so uh, the, the, the tricky area to relieve is underneath here and where you need that is uh, the smaller the tube diameter the more radical that has to be relieved underneath there. Now these will, uh, so this one's kind of got a minimal relief, this has got a little bit more and then this is a much more significant relief. 
um, and that allows you to get into a, a small diameter tube and still use this this inner edge here to chamfer the tube ID so hopefully that makes sense but we'll, we're gonna go over to the lathe and we'll uh, uh, we probably won't try that one but we'll we'll try this one and we'll try this one and uh, just kind of demo them on the lathe okay so let's cruise over to the lathe and check it out and turn and burn okay so we're mounted up in the lathe we got a, this is a aluminum tube uh, it's got a little paint on the outside we'll just we're not going to turn a lot off of it. I just want to demonstrate how this works and um, so you guys get a sense of how it works. So I think we're ready to go here. This is on center uh, and it's square with the machine. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what we get here. Uh, shift gears here a little bit. All right, that's probably good. Yep. Okay, so we'll just do a we're going to touch off and do a facing cut here with that edge. And I'm just, I'm just hand feeding it here. Okay, so there's a facing cut. Well, while we're in there, let's go ahead and just chamfer that inner edge there. Okay, we got a chamfer. And now we'll come out here, we'll touch off. And we'll take a small cut here, and we'll power feed this. Now let's get a full cut, cut a little, a little more, just for the demo here. Okay, and then um, we would come back, and then we can kiss this outer edge here and chamfer that. Okay. Let's do a little more like that. And then what we might do we might lop that off. this one. This one is a little different here. So we're going to start on the inside and then we'll come out because that's the feed direction right now. And this is dry and it's still leaving a good finish. All right. And then uh, we would come in and chamfer that inner edge. Okay. And then now this tool looks like it was really set up for a for some kind of a plunge like that. Okay, where you have a you have a lead angle uh, on something there. Now this would you know the finish is fine. It's pretty smooth. Uh, a little lube would make a difference on that. So anyway, that's the two tools. That's kind of how they work. And uh, we showed the uh, we showed the relief underneath of that one. And I'll just show it one more time. And uh, the relief underneath of that one. Okay. And there it is. Thanks for watching.